Kimo Savage was on his podcast recently, and you remember when I was speaking about NBA Youngboy versus Drake, who's going number one if you watched that video I did? They're, they're battling for number one this week. And I was just speaking about how Youngboy doesn't get this, Youngboy don't get that, he don't get the promo in the industry, nobody's promoting his album this way, YouTube's trying to kind of knock him down and block him a little bit. I spoke about all these things. And then I went into my, okay, Lil Durk is, I'm not saying Lil Durk is an industry plant in no means or whatever, but in, Lil Durk is one of the faces of what you would say the industry is. They love him now. He's the chosen one. He's going to get pushed. He's going to be promoted. People in the industry love him as well. So when it comes to someone like M.A. Youngboy, obviously Quando Rondo's home, like it's like a matriculation effect. Like, like Quando Rondo didn't do it, but Quando Rondo's homeboy killed King Vaughn. Right, we all seen it. Obviously, King Vaughn's tied to Dirk. So, Twenty One Savage pretty much confirmed that people in the industry are picking a side because it's obviously a serious thing. There was life lost. Obviously, Quando Rondo is tied to Young Boy, and Quando is tied to Little Tim. So it's like a, a, he's like his his third cousin away is the reason that people ain't fucking with Young Boy. I get it, but then I also thought it was stupid because in my statement that I made, I was like. If you want to think about business-wise, it's kind of, you know what? It's exactly the same thing I was just talking about. If, you, if you're listening to the clip right now, you don't know what I was just talking about, but it's the same thing I was just talking about. I feel like Lil Durk's success, he, and it's not to say he don't have a fan base. I'm not saying he doesn't have a fan base. But he doesn't have a fan base like Youngboy. I feel like Dirk has a fan base off of perception of Dirk now, Right? He obviously slow grinded, you know, he was around the Chief Keep era. Nobody's really fucking with it. He probably had a couple of fans. And then just recently he kind of boomed and went crazy, right? He got on the Drake record. Boom. He did the album with him and Lil Baby. Boom. His album was good. He dropped solo also. I don't want to discredit that. The album he dropped himself was also good. Boom. He's also tied to King Vaughn. King Vaughn is one of the hottest up and coming people. You got to think. It's like King Vaughn and Pooh Like they was coming up. Like obviously King Vaughn was still alive. And maybe, you know, there was no bullshit behind the scenes. He most likely would have been another big face on the XXL freshman cover. But Lil Durk was linked to all these different things. And he was also performing on all these different things. So it boomed him up. Now he has his widespread popularity around the industry. Young boy shit to me is just, it's organic. It's he has the people. There's nothing you could do to him because he has the people. So my, my point with that saying that is, you would think that people want to fuck with the person who got the people and not the, oh, he might only be here for X, Y, and Z amount of years. But maybe the music industry is different. Maybe the music industry doesn't matter if the cult like fan base because the industry can make you be whatever they want you to be. If they want Dirk to be the next biggest rapper in the world, they could probably potentially make him the biggest rapper in the world through marketing, branding, and media manipulation. But with Youngboy, that shit's just organic. The guy's in prison. He's about to do 130. He dropped me. He get, he dropped shit on YouTube, get millions of views. He's going stupid. He's going crazy. So, my point in saying that is, it was just interesting to see 21 Savage saying that people are actually doing that because they're loyal to someone like Lil Dirt. Because of something that happened like on a, a third party's person's event. It ain't like Young Boy did it, right? Young Boy's artist, Homeboy, did it. But obviously, young boy gonna ride with Quando because that's his artist. Maybe that's his homie from Brad. I don't know what the fuck Quando from. Maybe that's his homie from around the way. But just a trickulation of that. And also, it's like, bro, did everybody not watch that video that I watched? He attacked them. King Von attacked Quando Rondo. I've never seen the victim get shit on because he was attacked and the outcome went the other way. Because like the legend Sean Cotton said, if King Vaughn would have killed Quando Rondo, he would be getting praise, high hell, and glory. But since the person that everybody liked was on the under end of that bullet, Quando Rondo's this, Lil Dirk's behind you, he's going to get you, he's going to kill you. People joking about this man's death because the person that they like ended up on the wrong side of that gun. Now I'm saying rest in peace to everybody involved, you know. It's a tragic story, a tragic situation. But for artists not to want to do music with Youngboy because they got to pick a side between Dirk and Youngboy, it's like, bro, that don't got shit to do with me. 
But Tony Savage went into the street guy perspective. You from the streets and you gotta do this and you gotta kind of stand on it. It's like, bro, I'm not I'm not condoning him killing your homie. God damn, we just made a record together. But I guess when it come to to, to music in the streets, that's just the way shit gotta go. That's just the way shit gotta be handled. It's unfortunate because Young boy's missing out on so many great collaborations he can have. Like, I think the collaboration he did with the baby was great. I think the collaboration he did with the Migos, he killed the Migos. Personally, that sounded like it was his song. And maybe he was in the studio with Offset and they was working on it together. And then Offset was like, you know what? Hey, young boy, can I have this? And maybe throw Quavo and, and this could be our track. And he gave it to them. And they ended, that's how it sounds to me when I hear the record. I think it's called like Need It. That's a great record. It's like the thing about the possibilities of people that we can miss out on on a young boy track because everybody's loyal to Lil Dirt because of a situation that had third hand situation to do with each of them is unfortunate. But that's how the rap game goes. 